All right, guys, I have to share this with you. I noticed this watch for sale on the IWA Facebook group. Good friend there, Ken, who is very knowledgeable in the antique watches and the unique watches and some of these Russian ones, he posted this up for sale. He did not connect with the gold case on it, so he, he still wanted this exact same watch, but he wanted the standard stainless or a chrome case. So I was able to swoop this up from him and I knew I, I wanted one of these and this is the, the little bit bigger case. I think they make a smaller one too. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this so I'm not going to butcher the history on it. I just want to talk about my connection with it. So th I'm sure there's plenty of history out there. You guys can look that up and find that out from the professionals or the true enthusiast of this particular um, manufacturer, which is, it looks like a P-A-K-E-T-A, -E but everything I've seen on it, everyone calls it the Raketa, with like, you know, with an R, so it's, uh, you know, the Russian language barrier sort of thing, I guess, I don't know, but I totally dig, this is called the Big Zero, because that zero at the 12 o'clock, and I don't know, I you know, it's also probably because I'm a monster fan and you got those teeth there. So I think it's the combination of those large letters, my old eyes not being able to see good. This like just pops out. And then the um, triangles for the indices, I just, and then the gold. I, I have not had a gold watch yet. And I think this combination, plus I don't like wearing white face dials either. I just realized that for some reason, this one on the gold case, with the way this dial is done, I love it, and I think it's great. So I was able to swoop this up from Ken, and he actually, being the great guy that he is, he threw this guy in the box too, and I don't know anything about this model yet. I haven't even looked into it yet. So I have to look into it. You know, it's a quartz piece, and I'm assuming it's Russian as well. So I'll be uh, checking this guy out too. Thanks a lot, Ken, for that. But back to the zero. And now it's 18 millimeter lug widths. I am a bracelet guy. I don't have much sitting around. This is a very inexpensive leather strap that I bought at Best Buy. They made these for smartwatches. And if you remember about a year, maybe two years ago, I can't remember. I think it's only been like a year. They had a crazy clearance on all of this stuff at Best Buy. These leathers and those... Uh, famous uh, Best Buy NATO straps and I bought every one that my store had. So I just took a sharp knife and this is 22 millimeter. I cut it down, made it fit 18. Uh, I'm gonna wear it until I find what I really want to put on this. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I want. I've never owned a ostrich strap so I might try to find one that'll work on this. So I, I don't anticipate I'll wear this a ton, but I don't know if I can call this my wild card, but I, I don't know. It's just too dang cool. Like I, I, I have to have this. I want this. And it was so inexpensive. So, you know, and I, I don't know if it's, you know, you can hear it. The other thing is too, is you put this and I'm not going to be able to do this for you guys, but when this thing's running, when you put it to your ear, it has this wonderful tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's, it's just I keep putting it to my ear to listen to it. I I can't hear it on like my monsters and stuff like that. Um, you know, I've heard that it's easy to pop these backs off. Let's let's try to pop the back off just for kicks. Let's see what's inside this thing. This is my first time opening it up. Oh yeah, there she is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine putting a display case back on this? I know it's so crude, but it's it's always cool to see a, a you know a mechanical watch in in motion. I love it. That'd be cool to find a display back for this. Oh look at that. It's like I so love mechanical things. I don't even want to put the case back back on it. And, and I know like the um, 
I mean, you don't see, there's no gasket on there. There's no gasket on this. I mean, the, the water resistance, I think I seen uh, Ian, my friend Ian on the uh, Facebook group mentioned to somebody that just picked up one of these. They make a, a really cool 24 hour uh, watch this brand does too. And he warned them that the water resistance of this is like equivalent to a sieve. <laughs> so there's basically zero water resistance on this guy, but still totally fun, totally worth it. And I'm already over five and a half minutes and I was just going to try to do a short video, but then I popped this back off and that's just cool. <laughs> oh, it's right there. That is so cool. So there's a quick look at it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. And look at that. I mean, this one is in great shape, too. Sometimes I see these on eBay and they're really tore up. So big thanks to Ken for hooking me up on it. And uh, let me know what you guys think about these. And hopefully... I'll see some more big zeros going around. You know what? Let's. I'm gonna throw some measurements up real quick too, because you guys all know I wear monsters. So we're looking at like 39 mil. So I'm starting to get more comfortable with the, you know, and it's got that the K shape. Uh, what do you call it? like a pillow K shape? So it just. I gotta throw that back, back on, so I can do a. A thickness on it. Look at that, it just snaps right back on. I didn't even put it on that great. <laughs> oh, it's, it reminds me of like a, I'm a gun guy too. It reminds me of like the AK-47 platform. So 10.4 for thick, you know, and then it's eight mil, eight, 18 millimeter uh, lug width. And let's see if we can try to capture a lug to lug. I can see I got that band so chopped up on there. It's hard to you know, we're looking, it's only like a 41 mil. So, I mean, if you have a small wrist, you could even pull off this larger one. And I think they make a smaller one. But I would say go with this one if you can find it. Because it's, the dimensions of it just, it, they wear great on the wrist. So, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, I'll keep this one around for a long time and find a good strap.